Hello children, I hope you had a good Christmas and I know that some of you are back at school and some of you aren't back at school. But I'm going to continue to do our service online so that wherever you are, you might be able to watch it. Well, I'm sitting in church in St Mary's and you can see our crib is still up. And do you remember, whilst we've taken all our Christmas decorations down now, we have left our crib up and the crib stays up in church until February, until what's called the presentation of Christ in the temple, candle mass, when we have candles in church, everybody has a candle. And we keep our crib up until that time in February. Now, if you have a look at our crib, you'll see that the baby is there, baby Jesus. He was put in there at midnight on Christmas Eve. And you can see Mary and Joseph. And you can see the shepherds have gone and we've got the three kings. But can you see someone else? who we always have a story about at this time of year. Here he is, the camel, Hoshmakaka. Do you remember we always have that story? Well, Hoshmakaka, just for now, is sitting in our crib. And I brought along our book, The Last Straw, which tells the story of Hoshmakaka, who was the camel who, a story of a camel, who actually carried all the gifts for the three kings. Now, it is a story, but it's quite a nice story, and it helps us to think about the season that we are celebrating in church now, which is Epiphany. Epiphany. And Epiphany is when we remember the coming of the Magi. And you'll find that story in Matthew's Gospel, if you want to have a look at it. It doesn't tell you, I mean, in Matthew's Gospel, it just says that they were magi. Um, but in some of the Psalms, it does talk about kings. And so over the years, the tradition has developed that they were kings. But we know that they were quite wealthy and very important people. And here we have them. Well, let's have the story of Hoshmakaka. Now, Hoshmakaka was very old. He was a bit grumpy. And he was asleep in the desert. And I think I can show you the picture. There's Hoshmakaka. And you can see he's dozing. And there's the moon. And he's quite comfortable. And he's fast asleep. And quite suddenly, something strange happens. He hears a voice. Hush, Makaka. Hush, Makaka. Well, he doesn't want to talk to anyone. Who could it be? He's far too sleepy and grumpy. So he ignores it. Hush, Makaka. Hush, Makaka. You have been chosen. Oh, well, Hushmakaka, as well as being old and grumpy, was very proud. I have been chosen. You have been chosen by the Magi, the three kings, to take, to carry the gifts, to visit a very special baby king who has been born. Me? Oh, and he began, you can see, he began to get up. Oh, I have been chosen. Now, some young camels were there as well. And you've got to remember that Hoshmakaka was quite old. And they said, we could help you. I don't need any help, said Hoshmakaka. You may walk beside me. Oh, we would love to. So that's what they agreed to do. Now you can see the kings are putting on the gold frankincense and myrrh. 
Now, it was a long journey, but he would have managed that. But what was difficult was this. Was on the way, lots of people stopped Hoshmakar car and said, can you carry our gifts too? Now, the first were some goats. And the goat said, we have brought milk for the baby. Could you carry the milk for us? Oh, yes, all right, said Hoshmakar car. And so the other gifts were strapped onto Hoshmakarkar's back. Well, that was all right. But then a little further along, some millers came and said, could you take these sacks of flour? And then Mary and Joseph will be able to make bread. Well, sacks of flour are quite heavy because you can see there were quite a few sacks of flour and you can see that they were quite big sacks of flour. Oh dear. All right, said Hoshmakarkar. Now the little camel said, we could help. What did Hoshmakarkar say? I don't need your help. Just walk beside me. Well, then a very wealthy man came with a cage with two beautiful birds in it. Can you carry this cage with the birds? Well, that was rather awkward. The two cages were rather awkward to put on his back, but he carried them, and it was getting heavier and heavier. Then some merchants came with some pillars of oak. Well, oak is very heavy, but he was too proud to say to the young camels could you help me because they kept offering no he said he was far too proud to accept any help well then it came time to have a rest and there in the desert you can see Hoshmakarkar resting under the stars with all the gifts strapped to his back and how heavy they must have been and he's resting under the stars in the desert. But then he thinks this is not like any ordinary night. It seems quite bright because, of course, they were following the star and it was very, very bright. Well, when it came to the next day, lots of people came. There were jars of honey. Baskets of money. Oh dear, he thought, my knees are going to collapse. But he could see he had hope because there were the young camels walking with him. And there was the star and he thought, surely, surely this journey is nearly ended. They were almost there. His legs were nearly going and he kept saying, Oh, my joints. Oh, my sciatica. Oh, my gout. Oh, my poor, poor knees. I can't go on much longer. And there the young camel said, We could help. No, I can manage. He was just too proud to accept help. And then the last person came, a little boy, and you can see the little boy there, and in his hand he's got a piece of straw. Please take this piece of straw, it's all I've got for the baby king's bed. Oh, I don't think I can carry anything else, but he took the piece of straw. Oh, hallelujah! They were there. There was the stable. And he got nearer and nearer. And as he got in through the doorway, he fell forward. He fell forward. And there you can see Hoshmakaka kneeling on his knees, fallen forward with the weight of all the gifts. Oh dear. Everybody's going to think I'm so weak. So stupid, I should have accepted that help. Oh dear, I've fallen in... No, 
They didn't think he was stupid. They didn't know he'd fallen. The kings and the others in the stable thought, Oh, the camel's kneeling. We should be kneeling. And there you can see the kings. They knelt down before baby Jesus. Oh, Hush Makaka was very, very proud of himself. And do you know what happened? Just then, the baby pushed up his finger and touched Hush Makaka. Hush Makaka felt full of strength. All his aches and pains were forgotten because the baby Jesus, who he knew and felt was so special, had touched him, touched him. And you can see that. And not only had he touched him, somehow he'd been given the most wonderful strength. So that's our story of Hosh Makarkar. And here's Hosh Makarkar, my, oh, my camel. There's the star hanging on our crib. And there's Hosh Makarkar for another year. And I'll leave him for a little while sitting in the stable. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. And if anybody wants to read the story of the Magi, it's in Matthew's Gospel, near the beginning. So let's now say our school prayer. This is our school. Let peace dwell here. Let the room be full of contentment. Let love abide here. Love of one another, love of mankind, love of life itself and love of God. Let us remember that as many hands build a house, so many hearts make a school. Amen. Well, I'll see you next week. Keep safe wherever you are. Get on with your work, whether you are at school or at home. And hopefully, because of those very, very clever people who've made the vaccine, we may see things getting better soon. I do hope so. The blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with each one of you today and forevermore. Amen.